going to show you how to re-clock a three-way valve. Uh, if you ever take one of these apart and take the actuating arm off of the three-way valve core, you can get the valve out of time compared to uh, the way it should be when it's filling. So we'll take our Y pipe off the top of our filler. This is a dual head 60ml machine. Take our Y pipe off. And when you look down, the air is going to be off, the E stop is going to be depressed. When the rotary valve's our arm is all the way forward, it should be a completely open hole at the top. And when you rotate the valve back to its filling position, it should close off the top port so that no product is allowed to go get forced up into the hopper. And on this one, it looks like it's closed, but when it's in the refill position, the hole is not perfectly open. So what we'll do is we'll use a five millimeter Allen wrench the bolt on the actuating arm is right here. You need to loosen that up until it no longer has tension on the core. And then rotate the arm a little bit and then tighten your bolt back down. And then actuate the arm back to the refill position and see if the core is lined up. If the core isn't lined up, you need to repeat the steps until the core is lined up. Uh, you may have to check and make sure that the operation is correct so when the arm goes into the back position, this should be closed. If you're seeing another hole you need to continue to rotate the valve around until it's in the correct time. Closed in the back position, open in the forward position. When it's in the back position, the valve, the hole and the valve will also be lined up with the fill head position. So if we take our fill head off, you should see an open hole and it's hard to tell, but there should be an open hole all the way through to the piston. That's when the product's gonna dispense. And that's timing a three-way valve.